Hey, what's up guys? This is Thrillhouse17, one of your awesome posts over at PlatformNation.com and I'm here to give you a wonderful preview of Halo 3. Probably the most hyped and the most anticipated title on the Xbox 360 this year. Alright, just starting off, when you, when you load up Halo 3, this is what you'll see. This is the front end menu, and I've got to say, I really like it. It's really slick, it's really clean. I love how it's just got this camera that passes overhead. And I really love that they didn't go with that typical Halo theme song, just the rock music blaring. I love how it's nice and quiet and tranquil. It really sets a wonderful mood to the game. It's really cool. Alright, if you've played Halo 2 or even the Halo 3 beta, you'll kind of know how to get through the menu. Really slim, uh, really sleek, really simple. Your first option here, resume solo game, campaign, matchmaking, custom games, forge, theater. Then you can hit the start button for settings or why to access your friends list. All right, I'm going to actually go into settings right now, push the start button, and it takes you to media. Bungie favorites, this is where I'm assuming, assuming you'll be able to download or uh, find information on new game types from Bungie and what they recommend. Then you've got your file share, screenshots, and active transfers. If you played the Halo 3 beta or even been following any of the advertising, uh, advertising around Bungie, you know about the features that uh, Halo 3 will have, the replays, that you can save the level replays, or even the multiplayer replays, share them with your friends, or even send screenshots to Bungie.net. If you want to know more, I suggest you go to Bungie.net and find out, uh, any, uh, find out information. They've got a ton of uh, information up there. It's a really, really neat feature. You've got the marketplace to visit, uh, download your gamer pictures and whatnot. I'm going to jump over to settings and I'm going to go to appearance here, which is something I really like that they added. And I think that it's something that Halo needed. Here you've got uh, a service tag, you can change that. And when, what you'll know if you've played Halo 2 is all you could really do in Halo 2 was change the colors of your Spartan and give them a different emblem. The Bungie went and took the next step and you can customize the armor of the Spartan, which is it's kind of cool. You can choose and to customize his head, left shoulder, right shoulder, and the body. There are 10 different heads to choose from, 7 different shoulder pads to choose from, and 6 different bodies to choose from. Unfortunately, at the start, well, not unfortunately, but luckily, let's say at the start, there's only 2 to choose from, and you unlock the other ones by playing online. It's something to work towards instead of achievements, and uh, you'll know how much your opponent's been playing just by looking at them. It's, it's really a neat feature that they had. Uh, these are the uh, armor that you start off with. You start off with the typical Master Chief, then the C, excuse me, the CQB, uh, and these are just the different CQBs that they have, opposed to the Master Chief, the different shoulder pads, the body. One thing I do wish that they'd they'd done is I wish you would be able to customize more. Online games like Resistance and Warhawk, they really just let you deck out your guy from head to toe. I really wish you'd be able to customize, you know, his legs or his back. But you know what? This is it, it's good enough, I guess. It's, it's a nice start that they did. I love how the emblem shows up in your shoulder pad right there. It's really cool. Of course, you can do that not only with the Spartan, but with the Elite. Let me just turn him around. All right, here I've got them all decked out in the CQB armor, which is different from the standard one that he comes with, which is, is kind of cool that you can do that. All right, go down to emblem. If you played the Halo 3 beta or even Halo 2, you know about the, the emblems and how many there are. There really are a ton. You can choose your emblem and choose a background for it, which is really neat. Just helps you distinguish yourself in the game and the colors, of course. You can customize just about every bit of your guy. Uh, choose the, the armor, three different armor colors, and then three different emblem colors, which is really cool. And, of course, you can change the gender of your character, male or female. Uh, no difference. There's some sound effect difference uh, differences between the two. And, of course, you know, the female. She can't drive the Warthog as well. Just kidding. All right, go down to back to the menu. We've got the campaign where you can just start up and dive right into the story of the game. You can choose to leave it open, have your friends join you, kind of like Crackdown, or keep it private where only your friends can join you, or just close if you want to play by yourself. Go to mission. This is where you'll you'll see all the missions that you've uh, have played. I've only unlocked these so far, but you, it's, it's kind of neat. You can jump into one at any time. Different checkpoints as well. Hit X, and that's to edit campaign options. And I'm assuming this is what they mean by meta games. They're, they're little games within a game. The way it works is uh, you can choose campaign scoring. You can turn that on. And if you play this co-op, you can you can uh, do co-op scoring or competitive co uh, scoring. The way it works is each kill that you get gives you a certain amount of points. And it also depends how you kill them and how many in a row, if you can manage to combo the kills. It gives you more points. And there's achievements tied to that, which is it's kind of fun. 
and of course the skulls from Halo 2 are back. You get it, not only do you get achievements for uh, for finding them, you get points as well. I'm not going to start the game. Matchmaking. Uh, this is what made Halo famous, and unfortunately, not enough games copy the matchmaking system that Halo has. Uh, this the game hasn't officially been released, so the servers are not up yet, so I won't be able to show you the online play. But you've played the Halo 3 beta or even Halo 2 you know what the online play is like. It's really solid. It's a good online game. Custom games. Those of you who played the Halo 3 beta and managed to unlock custom games kind of know what's, what's there. There are a ton, and this is really where Bungie just, just blows every game away. Slayer. You've got your different Slayer games to choose from. There's quite a few. Slayer, Team Slayer, Rockets, Luminatio, Duel. Uh, oddballs. You've got your different Oddballs. Team Oddball, Ninja Ball, Rocket Ball. You've got three different King of the Hills, Mosh Pit, Crazy King. You've got your Capture the Flags. You've got your Assault, which was introduced in the beta, which was kind of fun. It was interesting. Territories, Land Grab, Flag Rally, Juggernaut, which, which was kind of cool, Ninja Knot, Infection. You've got your Alpha Zombie, Save One Bullet, VIP, which was a blast to play in the beta. It was a lot of fun. That's back. And one thing that I've noticed, and it's kind of cool, is it shows you the author. These are the Bungie custom games, the made games. If you go over to Bungie.net and you uh, suggest different game types, and if enough people like them and if they like them, I'm assuming that they'll give you credit for it, which is really kind of cool. If uh, you can create some cool games, get your name out there and get some recognition. Very neat addition. All right, go down to the maps. You've got 11 different multiplayer maps to choose from, three of which were in the beta. And I'm going to have to honestly say that I'm kind of disappointed by the number. I was expecting more maps. I was expecting around 15 to 17 maps. Just, uh, you know, the, uh, the online play on Halo is really strong. It's a, it's a huge feature. I'm sure we'll see more via downloadable content. Just worried how much they'll charge us for this and uh, the structure that they'll go with. Alright, go back to the Forge. This is just the menu. I'll dive back into this later on. I'll show you uh, the Forge in just about every detail you could, you could want. And uh, this is obviously the menu, pick the map, start Forge, and that's that. The theater. This is where you get to watch, <coughs> excuse me, this is where you get to watch all of the, your, your films. It, it saves a couple films uh, from your last multiplayer matches and from your last campaign movies, which is, it's cool, you can thump through them, save them. Uh, they do eventually, it only saves so many, it doesn't save them all, so if you find one that's really cool, you did something really neat, definitely go back and say that, you're going to want to do that. And you can share them with your friends uh, via the Halo system in-game. I don't know if you can put them, those on Bungie.net, I don't believe so. But you can take screenshots and, uh, shots and save those to Bungie.net, which is cool. Alright, that is pretty much the front-end menu of Halo 3. I'll be doing some more videos, so definitely keep uh, checking back. If there's anything that you want to see, anything that you have to see, send me a message, let me know, and, and I'll do my best to get uh, the information out to you.